yes the theory part of english course is this ese as you can see on the on the screen ese means end semester examination for you guys the end semester examination will be for 70 marks if if physically it is it is uh, conducted 70 marks and the pattern of examination will be shared to you in the due course of time and if it is conducted online obviously it would be objective type and all the syllabus will be covered last time we have already conducted one good examination so i will share the objective type of examination also and if a physical examination is conducted as per the government uh, instructions i will share the particular format of 70 marks theory examination and it will be conducted for 3 hours the passing is 28 marks so forget about passing i want everybody to score 60 plus out of 70 and if you simply follow the instructions given by me very religiously uh, promise i promise you that you would score more than 60 it's very easy to score but what is the rationale or what is the outcome of this particular course is that you need to be good in speaking and you need to be good in writing english so we get about 90 90 plus if you are scoring only 60 percentage of marks and if you are very good in english speaking and writing the the rationale or the objective of this particular english course is fulfilled so forget about marks but of course minimum 20 mark it marks you need to so that you can go and attend the lectures in uh, semester 2 where in very important and very interesting topic or course is waiting for you guys communication skill and if i am not transferred from this college i will be the same person who would be bothering you guys okay after this theory part uh, in uh, theory examination there is one pa now what is this pa pa means progressive assessment now what is this progressive assessment it's not that your performance will be evaluated in 70 marks theory examination finally as i said this is semester pattern up to 10th you had yearly pattern so you were uh, once the people come and enter this semester pattern examination they are confused we started with the uh, semester and now after 2 months the examination appears over there so you are confused and you are startled how can i appear for the examination it is only 2 months that i have been attending the lectures i haven't even understood what engineering is and now they are conducting examination and in order to make you habitual of appearing for the examination we have this progressive assessment of theory now what is this theory progressive assessment it is for 30 marks it will be conducted out of 30 marks 20 marks will be average of two tests so we will conduct two tests so after uh, end of this 15 days be ready to face your first test of all six subjects and it will be conducted maybe for 20 marks or 25 marks so two tests will be conducted and i think most of the uh, subjects will follow the same pattern of uh, progressive assessment theory progressive assessment that there will be two tests and and out of these two tests whatever marks you gain the average of it we will uh, take into consideration and after 20 marks 10 marks will be given for micro project now what is this micro project a small topic will be assigned to you guys maybe 7 to 8 in group and all of them will work on that particular topic they will procure uh, the information about it they will read it thoroughly they will prepare its presentation they will prepare their powerpoint presentation and they will present it so for this particular micro project you will get 10 marks and you have to submit one group file and uh, how to submit that particular group file what kind of format is there what kind of uh, cover page what kind of certificate what kind of index page what are the different technicalities of uh, that particular project writing report writing i will share in the next video so as of now you must understand that the progressive assessment of theory is 30 marks now what is the practical part of it practical part of it which is very important and my favorite all of you are supposed to be divided into batches of 21 each you will go to practical of uh, english in language lab wherein you will perform different practicals different practicals you are confused that how in chemistry of course we take different chemicals and we add them and we perform something else and that is what the actual practical is so in english what kind of practicals will be there the practicals will be your grammar knowledge will be tested your grammar knowledge will be tested means what you would be put into the situation you would be asked to interact with the people you would be asked to write some paragraphs you would be asked or you would be given some 
questions about different grammatical items and your performance will be evaluated so your end semester examination of practical will be of 25 marks wherein your grammar knowledge your comprehension knowledge summarization knowledge will be tested and your progressive assessment of uh, practical is for 25 marks so whatever practicals you will perform in the practical book that performance will be evaluated and it will be the average of all the practicals will be taken into consideration out of 25 marks so again the quality of your performance in the practical the quality of your performance in practical book will be taken into consideration and you will be allotted points accordingly yeah now the syllabus syllabus i think uh, we have already shared uh, in your whatsapp group for new people i will share it again and these are the highlights of syllabus the uh, applied grammar applied grammar means starting from noun to your transformation everything is given like uh, voice direct indirect speech different types of sentences uh, then you have um, verbs you have tenses you have articles you have prepositions all these things are covered in applied grammar the chapter number 1 then comprehension in comprehension you have seen passages as well as unseen passages so your understanding of written material is tested then paragraph writing and dialogue writing different paragraphs on the different topics will be given to you certain tips about how to write a paragraph will be shared with you guys how to write good dialogues and effective dialogues some tips will be shared with you guys and in practical sessions you will be asked to compose and frame good dialogues or sometimes actually perform in one particular situation such practicals will be given to you so that you get good sense of dialogue writing vocabulary building how to perform how to use different words in different situations how to prepare how to make how to develop your vocab everything all tips and technicalities and the techniques will be discussed in the chapter vocabulary building then comes speeches which is my favorite how to deliver thank you speech how to deliver vote of thanks how to deliver farewell speech funeral speech or other speeches general speeches that you are assigned how to perform better the tips of how to introduce your topic how to develop your topic how to end your topic how to uh, create and maintain good interests of the audience throughout your speeches everything will be shared because as i said this is my favorite area uh, now what are what are the syllabus now i have observed the people they are very serious about english grammar and all they they do it religiously but as far as seen passages are concerned some people they fail to understand that they have seen passages and the question and answers will be asked based on these seen passages so these seen passages the textbook will be shared with you guys the soft copy and uh, you have to go through that soft copy i think you will get the soft copy from college also uh, if physically you are asked to attend the lectures so uh, before that let me introduce with you guys that the seen passages are nine in number starting from shiva's blessing to duo to mentor so shiva's blessing grind jrd tata a masiya for the abundant seek electronic waste be remarkable arunima sinha's biography save yourself duo to mentor all these seen passages are so interesting and so motivating that if you simply read one of them you will realize that why it has been introduced in engineering syllabus shiva's blessing you will realize that how one person's because of one uh, philanthropic act of one person how the whole career and life of shiva changes in grind also you will realize the importance of hard work and consistency GRD Tata is a gem of all wherein you will realize that besides being an industrialist how you need to be a humane person the masiya for the abundant sick you will realize that what exactly happens in the patna uh, civil hospital how so many abundant and sick people come and how one person helps them out though he is not wealthy electronic waste it is very much related to it people and it's a it's a need of our that what what to do with this electronic waste everything the threats to the environment and how it can be saved everything is shared in electronic waste be remarkable stand in the crowd how to stand in the crowd how to develop your personality i think in induction program also i would be talking about personality development hope you guys attend it then arunima sena both the legs amputated no legs but she reaches the highest peak of mount everest and the whole journey of her reaching to that particular 
pick is given on ayin arunima sinna save yourself mostly it is for guys boys those who are simply trying to learn their bike what happens if you don't follow the basic safety norms it is given in save yourself and do a to mentor uh, how to be a good manager besides being a doer how to be a good manager starting from doer to mentor it is given in the story doer to mentor yeah my favorite of this all this whole session is about all these things whatever whatever we have discussed so far immoral dialogue of amitabh bachchan if you can read it on the screen amitabh bachchan says in one of his movies that <coughs> hey lo kar lo baat are aisi angrezi aave hai ke i can leave angrez behind see the translation literal translation and you will realize what exactly grammatically correct and uh, correct as far as meaning is concerned i can talk english i can walk english i can laugh english because english is a funny language and the last uh, sentence is english is a funny language it yes it is funny it is absurd it makes the rule and breaks the rule in the next session and why it breaks breaks the rule nobody knows nobody can tell you uh, when why food become feet nobody tells you nobody tells you why cut remains cut in past tense nobody tells you why not cut it i mean what's the logic behind it everywhere why not only ed is added in past tense nobody tells you why read becomes read only the pronunciation changes nobody tells that's why english is a funny language it makes one rule and breaks and let me tell you it breaks more rule than its own rules that are available yes this is what ultimate target of this particular session and the course is that you need to promise yourself you can read it everyone please read this in mind i will start and practice like amitabh bachchan from that movie actually amitabh bachchan is a very good speaker of english if you simply uh, listen to his speeches in the movie mohabbate you will realize the throw of his language the quality of his voice and whatever progress he has gained as an actor the quality of his voice that makes him unique that has i think i personally think that the the progress the money that he has earned today the quality of his voice matters a lot in it so you can start like amitabh bachchan that i can talk english i can walk english in the beginning it's okay but you need to practice till you become a good speaker like mr shashi tharoor today you do one thing you listen to shashi tharoor's one video i think abundant of videos are available about shashi tharoor uh, of shashi tharoor on uh, youtube listen to one of them maybe for 5 minutes or 10 minutes and then you will realize what exactly what is the height of good speech as far as english is concerned from um, indian perspective you will realize it <clears throat> yeah thank you and happy learning